Meanwhile, according to the 2022 financial sector outlook study by the FSCA, there has been a decline in the percentage of adult South Africans with funeral cover, dropping from 53% in 2019 to 42% in 2021. Similarly, life insurance ownership has decreased by 12% to 10% during the same period. Product head at FNB Integrated Advice, Esther Oxer, emphasizes that understanding life insurance can be overwhelming, but at its core, it is a commitment to provide financial protection for loved ones after one's passing. Oxer highlights that insurance serves as a safeguard against unforeseen events, such as the loss of a primary income earner. She offers insights on the types of life insurance coverage suitable for different life stages and long-term financial security. The world of insurance can be very confusing and people tend to have lots of questions about it. So things like what type of insurance, when do I take it out and of course the amount that I need to take it out. So think about it in three distinct phases. The first phase, I'm starting to work. I have no financial dependence. What you need to protect here is your ability to earn an income. So you want to think about things like lump sum disability, income protector and maybe a little bit of critical illness. If you are responsible for the burial costs of extended family, funeral cover is a good option to think about here. When you're starting to start a family, building some assets as well. Now, in addition to the disability income or income protector, what you need to think about there is, of course, bringing in things like life cover for a couple of reasons. The first thing is to pay off debt in the estate. And the second thing is to make sure that you leave your loved ones in a good position. Then, of course, heading towards retirement or close to retirement. You want to ensure that you've got the right level of life cover should something happen to you, that the remaining spouse is looked after as well. And then, of course, vitally important, keeping up with that critical illness. Now, very often we get asked, is how much life cover do I need? Here, you do need the advice of a financial advisor or alternatively use calculators that's available to you, such as the life cover calculator on the FNB app.